Nowadays, electric circuits can be found everywhere. To design and refine the electric circuit, you may need to derive its transfer function by hand. This video will show you the alternative method where you can use metal to get the transfer function of the electric circuit. Before getting started, let us understand what a transfer function is and why we need to know the transfer function of the electric circuit. A transfer function is defined as the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output to the Laplace transform of the input in a near and time invariant system when assuming all the initial conditions are zero. Since most electric circuits are approximately linear and time invariant, you can derive their transfer functions and then use the transfer functions to analyze the characteristics of the circuits such as frequency response, gain, and phase shift. This will help you understand the circuit's behavior. For example, how a circuit affects the amplitude and the phase of the input signal at different frequencies, which would be very crucial when designing and optimizing electric circuits such as amplifiers and filters for specific applications. Moreover, circuit analysis based on transfer functions can reduce the need to build a prototype for testing and refining a circuit and thus can save time and costs. Next, let us see how to use the symbolic mass toolbox in MATLAB to get the transfer function of the electric circuit. As a first step, you need to define the components and the signals of a circuit with symbolic variables. For example, considering a RLC circuit, let us define the values of the resistor, the inductor, and the capacitor as I, L, and C, respectively. Also, some intermediate variables, including the Laplace transforms of the input voltage, the output current, and the output voltage, respectively, as V in, I, and V out. Finally, the Laplace variables as S, and the transfer function as H. The next step is the main step, where you need to describe interactions between the electric components. You can do nodal analysis or mesh analysis based on Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's laws. Ohm's law describes the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance whereas Kirchhoff's laws include two fundamental laws. Kirchhoff's current law states that the sum of currents entering a node in a circuit must equal the sum of currents leaving the node. Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the sum of voltage around any closed loop in a circuit must equal zero. In the demo, based on Ohm's law and the Kirchhoff voltage law, you can write the first and the second equations, whereas the third one is based on the definition of a transfer function. Finally, you can solve these equations with one line of code in MATLAB. The parameter return conditions could be set as true to include the conditions under which the solutions are valid. Then you can connect the coefficient of the transfer function h in terms of the Laplace variable s. After getting the expression of the transfer function, you may ask how to use it for circuit analysis. In this demo, you can use the transfer function to derive the conditions when the RLC circuit is overdamped, underdamped, or critically damped. You can also visualize the frequency response of the circuit under given values of the components with a Boulter plot, a Nyquist plot, or a Nichols chart, or model and simulate the dynamic behavior of the circuit in a large system in Simulink. In summary, deriving the transfer function of an electric circuit is very important since it can provide valuable insights into the circuit's behavior without testing and tuning a prototype.
Compared with the manual calculation, programming in MATLAB provides a more efficient way to get the transfer function of a circuit. Especially when the circuit contains a lot of components, or the circuit's topology is very complicated. In such cases, using MATLAB can reduce the possibility of making the error. If you want to learn a more intuitive way to design and simulate an electric circuit using Thinkscape in MATLAB, please refer to the video given in the description. Thanks for watching.